A sequel, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four, was released in December two thousand twenty with Jackson Jackney's returning as director and gag out with other co star Ray seeing their roles as well as the third film is in development with Jenkins and yeah get out set to return Wonder Woman is the superheroine appearing in the American comic books published by DC Comics the character is founding member of Justice League as the one of the longest running comic book heroes, Wonder Woman's continuity has gone through several changes over the years. For a long time, her origin story remained the same. Her mother found her out of a clay and she was brought to the life by the Greek god, which meant she had no father. Wonder Woman's super powers were a result of are blessings from the gods, including the superhuman strength from the demeritor, demerit gods of earth, and super speed from Hermes, god of messengers. But the origin story was changed significantly when Brian as role rebooted the character as the part of DC's recent new. 52 relaunch. In the new 52 reboot, Wonder Woman is actually the daughter of Zeus, king of the gods. Batman vs Superman producer said that the DC movies movie universe will follow the new origin. In a new comic book landscape dominated by male superheroes, a consultant for DC named Walter Marston had an idea for modern female superhero. The character would be become the Wonder Woman as partially inspired by, by Marston's wife Elizabeth along with Olive Miner who lived with the couple in a Olive Amorphous, amorphous relationship. Martian created the character to rival the strength of Superman, but also have all of the positive characteristics that he associated with female females, such as fairness and loving of peace. He originally called her Suprema and the Wonder Woman, but her name was short ended before she made her comic debut in All Star Comic in December 1941. Wonder Woman was granted her own series in 1942, and while it was meant to appeal both sexes. The comic books included articles and advertisement designed to appeal to a female audience. She was quickly accepted into the superhero world, even becoming the only female member of Justice Society. But it wasn't all female empowerment, as she was quickly excluded from the team's better and re legated to the team's official secretaries. Man, Marston wasn't just a comic book writer and creator of Wonder Woman, he, he also a physiologist, lawyer, 